good channel. Do a review of the new Slaughter game. Well, Jose, you got it. I will work on that video right now. It's on mobile. Luckily, we found it on Steam. Because they ported it. Welcome to the review. Slaughter is practically self-explanatory from its, well, from its title. <laughs> you go around killing a bunch of people. I didn't really catch the story that well in the beginning. Uh, from playing the last Slaughter game, it was like in 2019 or something like that, it was kind of like you were camping in a house and you were trying to get gear for some stuff. This one you kind of pull up in a boat land up on an island, I, b I believe this is the same one, and then you're found in prison, and then you work your way out of prison, or something like that. I haven't really found the story, but this runs on the same engine as Wall of Insanity, which I found to be kind of a better story compared to this. This one seems just kind of like hack and slash in a way of just shotguns and basic unity. It's, it's pretty um, one-dimensional in a three- uh, in a third person state you're fighting off waves of enemies going into new areas finding out some sort of secrets there's not a whole lot of depth to this game there's not a whole lot of um, backstory either it seems like you're just fighting off these people maybe there's an ending to it I really haven't gotten to it yet but it just for some reason this game just has no appeal to me whatsoever and I love third person shooters uh, the the shooting feels very stiff the waves of enemies they they really gang up on you and uh, most of your shots kind of miss uh, this game was actually found on the store I'm I'm thinking on the steam store it was somewhere under five bucks which is a little crazy but I'm still looking forward to wall of insanity 2 I think he's got something special with that game in Venomized Dart. And uh, this game is... I don't know if this is it, man. Uh, I'm, I'm noticing a lot of people enjoyed this series on mobile. Which I understand having a mobile and playing this game. This, this is kind of awesome. You know, you can definitely tell those graphics are... They're pretty solid for what they are. The format, unfortunately, came out to be too... What is it? 20, uh, 1280 by 800 or something like that. It's just the Steam screen's size on the Steam Deck. And it just didn't pan out to be 1080p. But however, it is very well put together. Uh, it's just a little one-dimensional. So it's, it's, a, it's an okay game. I'm kind of freestyling this video. But there's not a whole lot of depth to it. So easily... I mean, I got to kind of weigh my options out here. I'm going to say like a 2.5 out of 5 stars. And I really don't have a rating system. So if that says anything for you, it's really pretty much in the middle here. Um, the, the save option here is it's a little, a little different. I do like the save option. It kind of just takes a snapshot of you and then it saves you in that spot. But if you, if you do die, you go back all the way to your last save. And you have the current guns you pick up but you're just not progressed that further. So the game is kind of lackluster. And that's pretty much it, guys. This game doesn't really offer as much. Uh, I kind of think Venomized Dart should make a multiplayer game because it would be kind of interesting to see what he could do. And I've watched some of his streams before. And, uh, man, it, it just, it's a little lacking, so... That was the re review, guys, for Slaughter. Uh, I forgot what this game was called. It was Slaughter something, but yeah. Thank you guys for watching. <laughs>